welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another day of holly's halloween and this is a very very different video to what i've done in the past because it is something that i have done myself personally i'm telling you guys my personal experience on it which was when i went to go and get a reading like a tarot reading I went to get this done around two years ago and she, the lady I went to, absolutely amazing and so lovely and she says it's best to do it every year not like every three months or so so I am due to go back at some point because I'd really love to because I really enjoyed it. If you're intrigued about going to see a tarot, um, tarot reader it is truly an amazing experience it's just like sitting across from a friend talking about the future basically that's all it is it's nothing to be worried or frightened about of course you are a little nervous because you thought she could bring up anything like anything bad to warn you or anything that you might not want to hear but I had a truly wonderful experience and I thought I would share that with you guys or what she told me so I, I wrote all my notes I went in June 2015 I think I went for my birthday I felt like it was something really cool to do for your birthday so I went then and basically when you go and sit down the first thing she will try and figure out for you is who your guardian angel is she has a method of believing you have a spirit from your family who does watch over you and looks after you from the other side and I thought that was lovely to think because I didn't even think anything of that and she blew me away with who my guardian angel was because she basically said you have a picture in your house of a man in a uniform and this like blew me away because it was so close. My nana's house has a picture of a man in a uniform, which I believe is my great great granddad. And I checked this up with my granddad because he's very good with knowing times and dates. And she says, This man died in France in Dunkirk, and he acts as your sixth sense. And I went to my granddad and I says, Do we have someone in our family that did perish in France? And he said yes we did. Very interesting thing to think that it's a hard thing to make up if someone made it up if you understand what I'm saying. So I found that really really intriguing. She also says um, that I'm good with languages and should take it up again. In high school I did okay like I was in middle set in French. I did okay like I got by. I know sometimes I see some languages are more easy to learn than others. People said Spanish was a really good one to learn because it stuck in your mind a bit better. I really enjoy French, but it wasn't something I thought, oh, I should carry on doing this. Because I have just, oh yeah, just a year from now, last year in October, I graduated on doing a childcare course. So I'm in a nursery at the minute working with children. So I've not really thought about languages as an aspect to go in but I found that very intriguing because it's something I've not really thought of but I thought maybe I could take it up again then she kind of went into my past and she says did you do a painting once and it went wrong and the only thing that stuck in my mind is <laughs> Do you remember they, I don't know if they still have them now, but they're like ice lollies and they used to come in really bright colours and they were like in the shape of a triangle and there was a blue one and I only got these every so often because mum thought I'd get a bit too happy on them in all honesty and I remember something made me think, let me write on the wall with this. So I wrote on the um, hallway wall in where our stairs are and apparently my lady who was doing my reading says your guardian angel is with you when that happened <laughs> and it was, he, he was watching it and laughing it with you but my mum was not impressed at all not impressed at all angel what's wrong what's wrong baby and I thought that was really really funny and then she also says you were quite ill as a child when you were five, six or seven years old and then there was a calmness and that was help from your guardian angel as well. I talked to my mum about it. She couldn't think of much that um, I was super ill. I would get sickness bugs like everyone would from school and 
play groups and going to um, where kids parties were, where there would be a whole load of germs and things. And yeah, when I was ill, I was ill. I would say it would take me down quite big. And it's nice to know that you have someone who's looking out for you and as well as your family that for you, of course. But it's nice. It was just a nice thing to know. I'd, it's very intriguing, I have to say. She then said, in your future, you will have two choices between your career. One is a hobby and one is your career job. And I found this quite interesting too because I've always loved doing my videos on YouTube. And it is a hobby to me and I do do my normal work as well. And it's interesting to hear that one of my jobs is a hobby. Like she didn't know I did YouTube videos at all and I found that very, very intriguing. And then she had really good um, things for me in my future. At the time I was struggling at uni, it was my second year and my tutor took me into her office and told me you should really second think about doing the third year because you're struggling so much this year I don't think you might be capable and I remember coming home so upset to, mom, to my mum because I felt so disheartened and I thought I know she's trying to <laughs> like give me advice but it was kind of the advice I thought I would be able to make by myself if you know what I mean and I she like made me think I shouldn't go through with it but I come to the end of my second year I passed and I thought you know what I'm going to go through with it for my level six I'm just going to try my hardest and see how I do hey you've come this far what can go wrong and if you if you haven't passed, it's fine because because you know you've tried your hardest. So she gave me great like positivity, was saying you've got great determination, spiritual power, dreams in life, and success in life. And this really boosted me because that was at a time when I was at my down low, and that helped me to. <laughs> you know, carry on and put my best foot forward. And now I finished my level six degree and I was able to do the third year a lot better in the second year, believe it or not. And that is with a dissertation on top of everything else. So I was so proud of myself for that. And truly like, if any teacher tells you you should second guess it, just go with your heart. Whatever you decide, don't let them put the thoughts in your head for you. You can make them. You know what you're capable of and you can try your hardest and do the best that you can do. And that's all you can do, you know? And then she went into love lives. I am single at the moment and I was single then. The first guy is a player. <laughs> I love how she said that. He's a terrible player. Like, you should watch out for him. Luckily enough, this guy hasn't come along, so I take that as a good sign. And then the second guy, she said, could be marriage material. Maybe meet him at uni, and you'll have to make a big choice between him and Korea, which I found also intriguing. And I didn't meet him at uni, I'm still on the lookout for that, but hey, she says, everything here is a gospel. It's the choices you make, like, my friend had an engagement party and I couldn't make it to and that could be the place where I met that person, you know? It's all between the paths that you take and you never know when you're going to meet that person. So just because you haven't met him yet doesn't mean it isn't going to happen, I believe, anyways. And then she also said maybe you will go to abroad with your job, possibly be in France, which could it be intriguing because it links with learning the language of French again, so maybe those two come in parcel. I've not been um, introduced to anything of that sort yet. I don't know if I, because I'm such a homebody, I, I love my home comforts, I don't know if I'd be able to go and live abroad, even though France is beautiful and adorable. I don't know if I'd be able to do something like that. It's a very intriguing aspect to think of. Yeah, but I am a very homebody and my family and my friends are here and I think it would be a very hard thing to do is to get. Yeah. And then the last thing she told me that you will have three children, which I thought that was perfect because I've always wanted a boy and a girl. It doesn't matter what time they 
all come into it but the fact that I might have three I find very exciting because I don't know I've always wanted because I'm a single child I've never had a brother and sister and I've always wanted one and I thought if I ever have children I would want them to have someone because coming up as a single child it's it's very big well it's amazing in some ways and in some ways it's not but um, I would, I've would i always said to myself I would have at least two children so they have each other so yeah that was my experience of going to go see a medium and tarot card reader it was very very interesting and very inspirational to me and my auntie and mum also went we kept it quite um private in terms of what she said to us like I only asked my mum about the illness thing because I wasn't too sure on that but it's lovely to go for yourself and just have an insight into your life and have positivity and outlook into your future so if you have been to see one let me know in the comments because I'd love to know what you thought of it and also if you're intrigued or have any questions feel free to leave that below too so if you really enjoyed this video and you're new feel free to just subscribe i have been doing videos the whole month of october all around halloween so if you want to see some more feel free to stick around and i really hope you have a fantastic day and see you guys soon bye